imposes a 6% tax on individuals and entities receiving interest and dividends, basically investment income. Otherwise, Tennessee has no general income tax. Bills have been introduced in the House and the Senate to phase out and eventually eliminate the Hall Income Tax by 2018. Do you favor the reduction and or elimination of the Hall Income Tax? Mr. Zachary, you'll have the first two minutes. Yeah, the interesting thing about the Hall Income Tax, that 6% tax on dividends, is how it really affects seniors. And so right now, if you're 65 or under and make $33,000 as a single, it, uh, you're exempt. A uh, couple $59,000 and below were exempt. And then the challenge becomes that if you cross that threshold as a couple making over $59,000, your entire income is then taxed at that 6%. And so when we're talking about seniors and the effect specifically that has on the fixed income, you have to begin to talk about pulling that back and rolling that back. And again, as, as, a, as a conservative, I'm always gonna lean to the side of putting the resources back into the people, back into the economy, because those, that's what helps the economy grow. That's what helps the economy thrive. When you put money back in seniors' pockets, that helps the economy grow. The entire state receives 2% of revenue from the Hall's income tax. But if you look at the effect it has specifically on seniors, it has to be addressed. And so to answer your question, I would be in favor and how we roll that back to where it limits the effect on some of the local governments that that Hall's income tax does benefit. So you have to begin to look, look, at, look at rolling that back slowly or doing it incrementally. But there are ways to do that. There's immediate ways to begin to, to help seniors right away and to begin to take some steps to where if you are, do fall in that gap of a couple making $59,000 a year and you do go over, you don't receive that penalty. I think immediately we can look at bumping that income threshold up so that way it doesn't affect those seniors who are hit hardest by this if they slightly go over. One of the things about the hall tax that I agree with is, is that it does, it's, it's heavy on our seniors. Um, we need to make sure that those who have planned for their retirement and they plan to live off of the dividends that, they, that they've saved for and, and plan well for aren't penalized on that and, and are able to provide for their well-being throughout. Um, I do think that it does need to be phased back. I think it needs to be phased back with thought and deliberation, and I think we need to do it as quickly as we can. You know, we have to be careful, though, because anytime we're going to cut something, we have to cut spending, and we need to make sure that we balance. We can't just cut and think it's going to magically be absorbed. Of that 6%, half of that comes back to the local communities. Um, so we need to understand the impact on the local communities, but there are definitely incremental ways. I think our legislators started that last year. They upped the exempt levels from 33 to I think 38, so that the, the ceiling is higher before you get that tax. I think those are, those are very conservative, appropriate approaches to slowly phasing out this tax and the goal to have it out by 2018 I fully support and will participate in enacting. Uh, just, just a quick follow-up. AFP has a really good proposal out where based on income thresholds, based on what, what uh, municipalities and local governments receive, that if, if income thresholds go over a certain point, then that Hall's tax is reduced. And if they don't meet that point, then the, then the income that's provided is given to those municipalities and local communities. And so it's just important as we look at this, the effect on seniors is top priority one, but then the effect on local governments, giving them time to adjust, giving them time to be able to make the changes necessary to absorb that. Uh, we may revisit taxation later on if we have time, but let's move on to a different